Hi, it's Kate Shidlow here from the Conservation Department of the Powerhouse Museum. That's me in the white coat. And I'm Sarah Poynton, Assistant Registrar at the Powerhouse Museum. And we're going to show you how to take measurements of a garment. Obviously every garment is going to be different and the different, different measurements are going to be relevant to the different uh, objects. But in this instance, we're going to show you an example of measuring a bodice and also measuring a skirt. Here we have the, the bodice and we're going to measure the, the inside measurement of the neck. And what we look for is actually taking the measurement from the, in this example, from the fasteners, the point of the fasteners rather than the actual edge of the collar because it gives a more accurate measurement of what the, the neck um, Because sometimes they have flaps, is. don't they, overlapping? That's flaps. right, yeah. So this has been padded out with acid-free tissue rolls to stop um, creases forming. What are you doing there, Sarah? Um, I think I'm looking for, we're going to measure the, uh, the bust or the chest. And so we're looking for, again, the point of um, the fasteners, so the points that we measure between. And you go to the top of the dart, darts, don't you? That's right, yeah. So look for the top of the darts. That's a, always a good indicator of where the, the chest measurement should be taken from. So it's good to have two people with this, isn't it? One person holding one end of the tape. That's right. And also just to help support the support the garment because it can be quite awkward trying to do it with just one person. Beautiful dress, isn't it? Mm. Lovely. What day is it now? Um, it's late nineteenth century, uh, David Jones dress actually. Ah. <laughs> and here we're going to measure the waist. It's actually quite, um, it's quite lucky in this instance that it has a band that uh, gets secured around the waist. Um, but that's obviously not always the case. Um, so sometimes you can find little nicks um, along which, ref which you can sort of indicates where the waist might be and again measuring between the two fasting points and it's good to actually take the measurement along the middle of the, um, the waist there we are we can see the nicks there so this is the cuff and you're keeping the tissue paper in it sort of it sort of helps to, um, I guess, maintain the the shape and yeah, support yeah. and support the object at the same time. So even a little thing like a cuff, still, it's good to have someone holding one end of the tape measure. That's right. And again, we're taking the the measurement on the inside of the cuff. Do you measure in centimetres or millimetres? In millimetres, mm -hmm. um, that can be more uniform. And this is measuring the um, the centre front. So measuring from the, in this case, it would be the base of the collar around the neckline, down to the um, down to the hem. And that's a measuring the centre back from the waist to him. And again, waist to him but at the front. So you don't measure from the top to the waist because you can work that out because you've taken the previous to the that's right. Hem. And 
So this is a leg of mutton sleeve, isn't it? It is, yes. So we we try and take the the measurement from the I guess the the beginning of the shoulder and curve it out around the um, the sleeve. And this is measuring the shoulder seam from the neck to the beginning of the shoulder. Again, having the second person is always helpful if you have to move and turn the object over. And that's measuring across the back between the two sleeves. The other measurement to take at the back is from the underarm to the underarm. So you actually measure from the side seam underneath one arm across the back and to the side seam under the other arm. And measuring the centre back from neck to hem. We're going to look at measuring a skirt. So there's an information sheet with little diagrams of all these areas for measurement, isn't there? That's right. And as I said, not all of the measurements that um, are going to be relevant to all garments. So this is a very large hem. Yeah, so what we're doing here is measuring the hem circumference, um, and the hem is actually. Well, the circumference is a lot uh, longer than our tape measure, so again, it's very helpful to have that second person to, um, to assist. And we're taking this measurement on the inside of the garment. slow procedure really isn't it something like this it is and it can it be, be um, no it can be um can be longer than what you may anticipate and there's acid free tissue rolls in the skirt that you can see that were still left in place it's good if you can find sort of a large large area clean surface to be measuring the garments on Nearly there. <laughs> so that was about three and a half times that tape measure, the tape wasn't measure, it? Yeah. Quite a wide skirt. Back to the beginning there. So here I think we're actually measuring the the centre back. So it's from the waist and to and to the hem at the centre back. This can be very revealing, can't it? Because um, often uh, you can date a, a, a skirt uh, by um, what length it is, because it can be different from at the front than the back. That's right. Because it might have a train or a bustle. Bustle, mm -hmm. exactly. Measuring a garment is very important too, because um, for if you're putting a garment on display, you need to know the measurements. Um, of the garment before you put it on the mannequin, and you can you can taper your man mannequin to so that the dress will fit on it. And here mm -hmm. we're measuring the the waist. Again, it's taken on the inside of the garment, and it's taken from the point of fastening to the corresponding point of fastening, rather than the edge of the um, the fabric, because it, again it gives a, a more accurate measurement of what um, the waist size of the, 
person who would have worn it. And you can see a detail there of the, I think it's a hook and eye, it's fastened with. And when measuring, um, measuring from the waist, it's always important to put the tape measure at the middle of the waistband because that's actually where the waist is rather than the, the top of the waistband. And that's measuring the centre front. So that's a lot shorter than the back, isn't it? That's right. What was that date again? Um, that was 19th century, late 19th century. Right. And this is just a, showing a detail of the, the band around the waist, which shows the manufacturer's details, um, which is important for documenting the object as well.